What up, guys? Welcome back. So helium mining, very profitable, and it was a lot of fun up until recently. So here's my story. I bought three of these minted miners, two gold, one black. Now, the black one still works, but unfortunately, I live in a dead zone, and that is the one I have here at the house. Not very profitable. But my two gold ones have been very profitable up until about three weeks ago, where they just stopped mining, wouldn't sink to the blockchain anymore, and just basically have become dead in the water. So we got to fix that, right? So from Minted, there is an SD card, a micro SD card inside of your Helium miner with 32 gigs of storage. Apparently because of all the growth, now that is not enough storage. So we need to replace that on a new micro SD card, which I do have here. This is a 64 gigabyte sand disk micro SD card. Make sure you're reading write speeds are right above 100 and you should be good to go. Now, you do have to flash the new firmware on the micro SD card. I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to take this guy out of here and then I'll do a follow up video in a week or two after it sinks back to the blockchain and starts earning money again or, or HNT. So we'll see how good it works. So a few things we're going to need. This is very simple, guys. Very easy to do. You do need a computer, of course, to flash the firmware onto your micro SD card, a new SD card, and a couple tools here. I got my iFixit here, which I've had for a while. I'll drop the link below. If you guys are into tech, you guys should get, pick one of these up. This thing is a lifesaver whenever I need it. So we're gonna take this little spudger here. So it's a metal spudger. And then we're gonna need a pair of tweezers. Not those, we want a different pair. We'll take this pair of tweezers here and that's basically all you are going to need so let's just get into it first we are going to take out the sd card that is on here let's go so again there is adhesive on here holding this on and you want to be careful with this because you do want to reapply it right so you do not want to ruin this thing so you have to get under there and try and do it without ruining it which i will definitely try and do So I can feel the adhesive, and again, I'm just sliding it underneath there, nice and slow, to try and pull it up without damaging anything, without ruining the adhesive too much, because I do want to be able to use it again and reapply it once I flash the new SD card. So you'll be able to see the adhesive once I pull this off. So there it is, just a a cover with some adhesive on it. Nothing too fancy, but inside of here, you can see the SD card and grab some tweezers, pull that SD card out. Now, you know, normal SD cards, when you push it in, you can feel it connect and feel it click. This is not like that. It does just sit inside of here and there is extra space inside of here. So be very careful pulling this out. You can drop it inside of the miner so we want to pull this out and you, of course you want to make sure you put it back in the same way we're going to put that to the side we're going to head over to the computer and we are going to flash the new sd card now first just go over to support.getminted and you're going to be able to see where you can find everything i need to replace the micro sd card on my hotspot and this will basically tell you how to do it and then it's going to give you the firmware file that you need to download and once you download this don't unzip it it does say right here works best if kept as a zip file so make sure you don't unzip it and now you also want to install Belina etcher this is a flashing tool and it's available on windows and mac and linux so you can find that now i already did download the file and i did download and install Belina etcher and we're just going to go there right now so you can also use it just from the the desktop if you want to, but I would download it and just use it that way. So here is Belina Etcher. I do have the micro SD card in right here and I do have the file, still a zip file, as you guys can see right here. So we are going to flash from file and we are going to go to the desktop and here is the file right here. Open that up, select a target and here is what we want. Again, 64 gigabyte micro sd card select it and we are just going to flash it type in my passcode password and we are good to go it's flashing it'll put it on the micro sd card and we're just going to reinstall it into the helium miner and then we are basically done at that point 
flash complete, flash another, or you can just move this to the side. And it did already disconnect my SD card. I do want to reconnect it real quick just to make sure that there is something on there. And we'll double click on this, make sure everything is there. And it's just a bunch of files. I have no idea what they are, what they mean. But we should be good to go. We will eject, eject this micro SD card. And now we are going to take this SD card and we're going to throw it back in to the helium miner and then reapply. Now, again, be very careful. It's really going to need to be careful because there is a spot in there that this might fall through. So I do want to do this very carefully. And you can see once you push it in, it just sits in there. It doesn't click. It's not going to feel like anything clicked or anything. It's just going to sit in there. And then we want to try and apply this and put this back on as nice as possible. And it should just adhere and keep it nice and secure. And there we go. Simple fix for your helium miner. So that's all you really need to do. Get the new micro SD card, download the firmware, flash the firmware onto the new micro SD card and just reinstall it into your helium miner. I am going to head over to the location that I have this tomorrow. I will sync it back up. And once it syncs to the blockchain, I will do a follow up video after a few days and we'll talk about profitability on this thing and if it actually worked. So that's it, guys. Enjoy the video. I hope you have a great weekend. Hit that like button. A sub would be appreciated. And I'll be back soon. Peace.